got a very, very different video for you guys today. Today, we are going to be setting up these smart sync only simplex true alerts model number 49069127 look it up there smart sync only we are going to be setting them up to work with this panel so let's get to it all right in order to do this properly because this puts out full wave rectified current and doesn't natively support simplex sync we need two different components for starters for syncing we need a simplex sync module this one in particular i believe has a label on the back is model number 49059938 and this module will allow us to sync but it won't work properly if we don't have one of these guys so this is the voltage regulator I am using for my Pyre monitor. Video on that pop up in the corner right now. What this does is it cleans the voltage so it gets rid of the full wave rectified current that this panel puts out and makes it clean DC current. And I'll change the setting here so it goes to 24 volts. I ordered another one in hopes it would be here on time but I didn't get it on time. So, um, Right now, I'm just going to use the same one I have for the Pi, and uh, we'll get it adjusted uh, when the new one arrives later. Okay, set this up real quick just with the sync module just on the 24-volt uh, power just to be sure that no unfiltered current from the horn control is going to go into here. And it, honestly, it doesn't. Um, it's millivolts of current just enough for this to give the device a little signal code without having any power at all. It'll just have flashing strobes, if I'm not mistaken. So we're actually gonna test that in this video, but we'll actually set off the horns in uh, another video with my next system test later this week, so please stay tuned for that. All right, let's get this device wired up here. So first things first, I'm not gonna be able to do this while filming, but you're gonna fish those wires through this hole here and put them into the respective positive and negatively marked terminals here on the horn strobe. And we'll put our screws in up here. So let me go ahead and get that mounted up and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I hope you guys can see it okay. I've mounted it up on the wall and I've got the wires coming in here. We got our negative going to the negative terminal and positive here. And I will say, I'm not gonna do this right. I am T-tapping this circuit because I want these both to be on one circuit just for the way I need to have the module set up. Um, normally on a real circuit, you have this go in here and then out to the next device. I'm not doing that just because I don't want to modify my wires, <laughs> my taped up wires here, um, just because it's kind of a pain. So I'm not going to do that, but all we're going to do is figure out where I put the red cover, which is down here. And all you do is snap that on and there's your true alert so there's the first part of this and with a lot of wires and a lot of work later we have a little something set up so this is currently set up to NAC1 which is the strobe circuit it's just going to provide straight uh, steady power to the strobes no sink or anything is set up on it so it just goes right up here into this guy and uh, this will eventually go out to the devices. I haven't done that yet, but um, it just goes up into the voltage regulator and then into here. So I'll show you. I'll do a manual evac on the system. Uh, here you go. Now you'll actually hear it clicking here. Um, on here you'll see it come up to 24 volts. You might see a strobe in the video. That is the uh, EST strobe from last week's video. So it's got 24 volts going in here. That comes out clean current over here. So this thing is getting some clean current right now. It is absolutely happy about that. So now let's go ahead and um, get the strobes hooked up on here. Alrighty, now I have wired up the alarm that I put up earlier in the video. This is again, just two wire. And I don't have the horn hooked up over here. So there's no horn control, which we could just take in the straight power from that and actually code it 
through there, but I'm thinking I might uh, try to do something else. I'm not sure yet. But uh, all we do is we're gonna do a manual evac, and I'll let you guys watch. Alrighty, that is the simplex strobe you're seeing in the video. The other one is going as well. In fact, they're in sync right now. They're not hooked up to each other. They just happen to be pretty well in sync um, at the time. So again, this is coming in, 24 volts power. This is a smart sync device here, syncing on a uh, firelight panel. So that is the gist of it. I'll get the other one hooked up real quick and come back just so you can see it, but this is really the gist of it and what you need to know. The system is normal. We're gonna go ahead and do a manual evac again just because I don't want to give away the fun of a system test. So again, this comes on. This is clicking away. You can already see the strobe. Click, 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 click. We're gonna follow that down here. Click, click. Click. And there it is, it's Chauvin. I want to see if I can get them together. Yeah, they are in sync. So I am currently syncing fire alarm devices, simplex devices, on a firelight panel here. Well, this is so great. Everyone likes these simplex devices. Why doesn't everyone do this, right? And when they go through panel upgrades and stuff, why do they have so many problems? Why do they have to replace their devices still? Well, it's because of this. This guy right here. Unfortunately, due to the way this guy works, it doesn't like supervision current. In order for me to keep the panel normal, I have to keep my resistor here. Also, this isn't a UL listed way of doing this at all. Obviously, masking tape isn't, but even if this could be in a junction box, it's it's... NFPA would be like, eh, no. So, though this works, and I did sync up these devices, you know, that's why, this is why this can't be done in the field, unfortunately. Um, to my knowledge, anyway. Um, and it's because of this, this DC to DC filter. Now, if you replace a simplex panel with these kind of devices with another either simplex panel, obviously simplex would be doing that, or another panel that puts out clean current, you can get away with bypassing this. And just put one of these modules up and this will still work. But on a firelight panel, it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna strobe like in a video where you can click up here to take a look. But um, it just strobes like crazy and it's just going crazy. So that's why you can't do this in the field, but it does work. Now, I don't want to give away too much because I'm planning a system test in which this guy will be replaced. Um, and the uh, BG-12 I've got over down there in this mess. Um, and then we'll get to see how the horns work and how with this, you can actually set up selective silence. So I'll get to that in my next video so stay tuned uh if if i keep my schedule normal this video came out on a monday so on wednesday that video will be out and uh, i'll put it at the end screen of this video when you check it out so guys please this is this is a cool thing this took a lot of work and a lot of stuff to uh figure out so please do me a favor leave me a like on this share it around for all you people who are worried about simplex devices not playing nice your smart sync device is playing nice right now. So you'll see the horns working on Wednesday and leave any comments below if you have any questions. Thanks and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.